Hello and welcome back. It's Vicky here with the second day of my week featuring Stampendus. So today I will be using this huge stamp. This is a rubber stamp. It is actually 8x8 and uh, they are made for big projects. So you can decorate uh, bird houses, three-dimensional boxes, uh, frames as you can see at the back. But they are also great for covering up completely your art journals as well as making cards of course. I'm going to bring in a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, so you can compare the sizes. And this actually gives you the flexibility to place your card in any area that you like on top of this huge stamp, so that you can pick the pattern. When I am creating cards with uh, huge stamps, I always like to place the paper on top of the card. But in case you want to work on another project, like a three-dimensional one, they do have available a huge block that you can stick it on top of your stamp and uh, work with that if you wish so. And now I'm going to show you a few more designs that they have available. And I really love these for art journals. I know I will be using these a lot since they are perfect for creating interesting backgrounds as well as pattern papers. Now with a lovely background stamp like this one, you don't really need to do a lot to create a beautiful card. Uh, today I'm going for a more elegant looking card. If you are not into cute, then I'm sure you will love this one. I will be using the aged ivory embossing powder that I showed you yesterday, just because I want to try them all. I think they, have, uh, they give beautiful results. So I'm going to ink up um, one area of my huge stamp there using my VersaMark and then I'm going to apply my paper on top of it. Now you can uh, press it with your fingers. I like to use a brayer. I have a small brayer here, so I'm just going to make sure that everything is pressed nicely on top of my stamp. I'm going to peel it off, check that everything is okay. And now I am going to apply my embossing powder. Now the embossing powder I'm using does have ivory inside, but also particles of uh, gold glitter. I'm going to cover up completely my panel and um, you will see how beautiful this is going to look. Now just because this is a very intricate design, uh, you can't really tell from uh, the camera where those uh, golden particles are. But I'm going to make a close-up look so you can see and you will see the photos at the end of the video. And I don't know if you can tell, but along with the ivory, there are golden particles spread all over the design. Now, I am uh, going to move on and just to demonstrate this embossing powder better, I'm going to completely cover up a piece of uh, paper with uh, my Versa marking and then apply this embossing powder. And I want to share a few tips and tricks when you are using this type of uh, embossing powders. So I'm going to apply it on top and you can see that you get both ivory and gold. But the gold glitter is bigger, it's chunkier and uh, as you move it, it's going to move around. It's not going to stick. So what you need to do is to not tap it off, otherwise you will lose all the glitter. Just leave it there as it is and use your heat gun underneath the paper. This way all the golden particles are going to be trapped as uh, the rest of the powder melts and they are not going to fly all over the place and fall off your paper. And here is the finished result, just gorgeous in real life. I hope you can see all the shine and uh, the sparkle that I get from the golden uh, particles. And now I need to create a focal point for the top of my card and for that I will be using this stamp set. This is a gorgeous stamp set with beautiful snowflakes, a couple of uh, sentiments as well as two dies. So I really love when uh, dies come together with uh, the stamps because uh, it really makes my life easier since I always like to cut out my images, my focal points and pop them on my cards. Now I am trying to embellish my snowflake there a little bit, so all I'm doing is tying a string around the snowflake and I'm also going to tie a bow. And as you can see I have threaded a Christmas token, this is one by Tim Holtz, which is going to embellish and decorate my snowflake a little bit more. Now this can work as a snowflake or as a star. Now if you take a look at uh, the stamp set that you can see on screen right now, there is a matching uh, stamp that you can stamp on the inside of this uh, cutout to give all the detail of the snowflake, but I wanted to leave it more abstract and I just love the pattern that I got from the embossing powder, so I'm going to leave it as it is. At the back I'm going to add some foam squares and then I'm going to stick that on top of my panel. 
My panel is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half, so it's going to completely cover up a card base. And um, I decided to go with a craft colored card base just to match the string and uh, the muted colors on my card. Now I'm going to add some strong tape adhesive to stick that panel on top. And uh, if you notice, today I didn't um, cut my panel slightly smaller than the standard card, so I end up uh, not having a border around it. But for this card, it works out for me and I really love how it looks. The little token at the front of my card has the word peace but uh, since I don't have a big sentiment I decided to stamp one on the inside of my card so I went with the one that says wishing you snowflakes, friendship and blessings all year. And here's another thing that I like to do when my card base is not white. So in this case it's a craft and this is going to work. I like to repeat the pattern at the front with um, by stamping on the inside with Versa marking. So this is going to create a little bit of interest on my background but at the same time it's going to be very subtle and um, I will be able to write my note with no problem. And here is the finished card. I just love cards that are elegant and uh, the ones that you can send to both guys or girls. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave me a comment. I read all of them and try to answer to every question. I will see you all tomorrow with another project featuring Stampendus. Thank you all for watching.